Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the CC cylinder effect to wrap text around an object such as a logo. So the composition that I'm using is 1920 by 1080 pixels, 24 frames per second, 10 seconds in duration. I'm going to create a new composition just for the text. I'm just going to go up to the top menu, click on composition, new composition. The size I came up with was 2160 by 600. I kept the rest of the settings the same as the original composition. Click OK. So I'll click T for the type tool. I'll enter the text. The font that I'm using is called Landrina Solid. I'll just select it and align it to the center of this comp. To repeat it, I'll twirl open the text layer, go to the source text, press option if you're on a Mac, alt if you're on Windows. I'm just gonna type in repeat, R-E-P-A-A-T, open and close parentheses, and just enter the number of times you want the text to repeat. I'm gonna enter four, I'll select the text layer, go up to the effects and presets panel. If you don't see that, go to the window menu, check effects and presets. I'll click in the search field to start typing out cylinder, CC cylinder and drag it right onto the text. I'll go to the effect controls to customize it. For the radius, I'm gonna enter 116. I'll twirl open position. I'll change the position Z to 70. I'll twirl open rotation. I'm gonna change rotation X to 20. I'm gonna come down to light and shading. I'm just gonna zero these out as I don't want any lighting or shading. To animate the CC cylinder, I'm gonna make sure the CTI is at the beginning of the timeline. I'll click on the stopwatch next to rotation Y to add a keyframe. I'm gonna move the CTI forward in time. I'm gonna to go to the seven second mark. I'm gonna enter a one so it rotates 360 degrees and to loop it endlessly, I'll press Option on a Mac, Alt if you're on Windows, click on the stopwatch for rotation Y. I'm gonna type out loop out, lowercase l, O-O-P, capital O-U-T, open and close parentheses. Tap the spacebar, perfect. For finishing touches, I'm gonna to go back to the effects and presets, do a search for fill. I'll drag fill onto the text layer and I'll select the color. Now I'm gonna add a drop shadow. I'll go back to effects and presets, search for drop shadow. I'll drag that onto the text layer. And the last effect I'm gonna add is turbulent displace. So I'll search for turbulent. I'll drag turbulent displace onto the text layer. I'll change the amount to five. I'll go down to evolution options, press option on a Mac, alt on windows, click on the stopwatch for random seed. I'm just gonna enter in the expression time asterisk five. And the way that you're gonna figure out what settings work best for you is you're just gonna drag that composition with the text right onto your main comp. And you're just gonna line everything up and go back and forth and customize things until it fits your comp the way that you want it. And to make it look like it's animating behind the logo, first I'll select the text comp, and then I'm gonna select the pen tool. I'm just gonna create a mask around the text to where it intersects the logo. I'll click, I'll click and drag to create a little curve. I'll do the same on the other side, click and drag, click and drag. And then I'm gonna close out the mask. It's doing the opposite. So I'll change the mask from add to subtract, perfect. And that is the CC cylinder effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.